Hey everyone, welcome to Artec. Today I have something that I myself have been wanting for many long years now. As an avid scuba diver, I am very familiar with the roll top dry bags you use to keep your things from getting wet while you're on the boat or shore diving. Not only am I very familiar with them, I actually dislike them with passion. There's just something about those dry bags that I don't like. For one thing, to me, they're awkward to carry. The bigger ones that have a shoulder straps are uncomfortable to use when they're when the dry bags are loaded down and the fact that you lose so much space in the bag after you roll and clip the top it just annoys me to no end so for a very long time i have been wishing for a backpack that would replace these dry bags and today i finally got my hands on one so let me present to you the breakwater supply waterproof backpack this particular one is their 25 liter fogland backpack and it is in fog white. As white as it may or may not look, depending on the lighting conditions in here, it is actually a an off-white color. It's not gonna be bright white. It really does resemble fog. I think it's named appropriately fog white. These backpacks are 100% waterproof, is fully submersible, and it floats. These backpacks are able to be waterproof due to the, the hydro wall nylon TPU lining and the dry suit grade airtight zipper closures. Thanks to that, you're able to take this backpack with with you in any weather conditions and not worry about your items getting wet inside. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and go over to the table and let's check this backpack out. So let's go over some of the features of this backpack here. This is, like I mentioned earlier, this is 25 liters. It is going to be 13 inches wide, 20 inches high, and it's gonna be seven inches deep. The good news about that is depending on the airlines you fly, this actually could fit under some of the seats of the airplane. Just depends on the size of the plane that you get. The only thing I'd be worried about is maybe the length might stick out a little bit, but usually they won't. They won't say nothing about that if it sticks out a little bit into your leg area. So this is a pretty good size. Like I said, 25 liters. So you will be able to fit quite a bit of stuff into this bag here. So why don't we start with the front of the backpack here. We've got this little piece here and this right here and I actually have these two right here on these little straps these are reflective elements so if light shines on it it will reflect back to the light source you have a front buckle strap right here you have two d-ring attachments in the front as well so these zippers here be aware these are dry suit grade zippers and they are airtight zippers so you need to keep in mind that these type of zippers are not going to open easily they're not going to close easily you're going to have to put some effort into it and in order to make it a little bit easier for you they actually put little grab straps for you in order to help you open and close it so when you're going to open it grab this piece here and then grab the little handle and pull. I mean, it sounds simple and obvious. This one isn't too bad, really, but this bigger one, you're definitely gonna wanna use your little grab handle here to make it easier, especially the initial pull here is pretty tight because it's gotta keep a nice seal here if you wanna keep your items dry inside. Just gonna open that back up again. It is actually a pretty decent size front compartment here. It is also waterproof, so be aware this is waterproof compartment as well. You got two big ones. You have this one here. You got the main one, both of which are waterproof and airtight. On both sides, you have little mesh pockets for water bottles. And again, you got your little grab hooks here in order to make it easier to unzip and zip up the main compartment. And here on the back, we've got more reflective elements. Both of these right here will reflect light. You have a molded EVA back panel. You got a removable chest strap. Again, you've got two more D-ring attachments here for you. You've got an S-curve neoprene padded shoulder straps. And here on the top, you got your grab handle. Actually, you got two. You've got one right here. And you've got another grab handle here on top. And you got more attachments points right next to the grab handle if you need them. So let's take a closer look at these zippers. Why don't we? As mentioned earlier, these are dry suit grade zippers. So for anyone who has done any scuba diving a dry suit will know how stiff dry suit zippers are. Now, these are no different. Actually, these are slightly easier to manage compared to the zippers on dry suits. Knowing this, these zippers will be somewhat stiff to open and close, but it is manageable. So this is something that you need to keep your expectations properly for. I have seen a lot of people complain that these zippers are unmanageable. They're too hard to open, too hard to close. There's a reason why it's difficult to open it. There's a reason why it's difficult to close it. If it was easy to open, then more than likely the chances are that there's going to be gaps in the zipper, in which case water can get in. You want these zippers to be as tight as possible in order to prevent anything from being able to get in 
or out of this bag through the zipper. And in order to do that, these little zipper teeth have to be super, super tight. And in order for them to be super, super tight will mean it will be super hard to open and close. Just remember, they do have grab handles here to make it easier for you to open and close it. One thing to keep in mind, as you can see, I had to push kind of hard to do it. When you're closing this bag, if you don't close it completely, you're leaving a vulnerable spot right here for the water to escape. So when, whenever you're getting ready to close this thing, give it a nice tug when you're closing it to make sure that this hole is closed. Because as it is right now, I mean, it feels like it's closed because it doesn't want to go. But if you see that there, but if you see that hole there, then it still has room to go. So you need to give it an extra pull. And now, now it's closed. Now it is actually watertight and airtight. As you can see, I'm squeezing on it and the air is not escaping anywhere. As I had mentioned, as we were going over some of the features of this thing, it does have two compartments. It's got your front compartment here, which is watertight, and it has your main compartment here, which is also watertight. And again, both of them are airtight as well. The little one is big enough to fit. Actually, it's, it's big enough to fit quite a bit of things. Your cell phone can definitely fit in here. A bunch of little thin knickknacks can fit in here. I mean, it is deep and it actually does bulge out somewhat if you over stack it it could but it is actually it is a pretty decent size bigger than i was expecting it to be to be quite honest with you i could definitely fit a lot of stuff in here a lot of small items into this pocket easily while we're talking about waterproofness this backpack is ip68 waterproof so just be aware of that which means it will keep water sand and dirt out of your bag once the zippers are closed and fully closed with it being airtight that also means that if you got this thing full of air even with your stuff in it it will float i believe the website stated it will float up to 40 pounds of stuff so if you fill this up with up to 40 pounds of weight it will still float beyond that it could begin to sink i'm gonna have to double check that but i believe that's what i read so let's go ahead and open this up in this Take a look at the main compartment. And as you can see, the main compartment is big. They've got a little pouch right here. This will fit a 16 inch laptop if I remember right. You have a couple more pouches here as well, little ones. You got a little pen holder. And if you look up here on the front, you got this little orange handle. They got another zipper up here and it looks like going by the material, this is probably also a waterproof zipper on the inside as well. Either waterproof or water resistant, one of the two. But this one's also pretty decent pouch right here on the top i would think it's about the same size as this pouch here which gives you two pretty good sized ones so you can see you can fit quite a bit into this bag right here like i said it is 25 liters so you will get a lot of stuff in here but this is probably going to be my go-to bag for a lot of things that i do now again if i'm hiking to the waterfalls i can tr i can wade through the water if i wanted to i can go swimming in the river if i need to cross the river and it's too deep to walk across I can swim across it and not have to worry about my stuff getting soaked on the inside. To me, that's a major, major plus right there. And again, you got these little straps here. So if you've got something that you want to strap down, like let's say a tripod, you can put it right here you can strap it down and you can strap it to your backpack if you wanted to. If you had something bigger than a tripod, you can use this to strap it down with. Okay, so now that we've had a nice look at it, why don't we go ahead and test this thing out? Okay, well, I know I promised to dunk this in my hot tub outside, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's been over a year since it was last used, so it's pretty dirty and it's going to take quite a while for me to go clean it out. So instead, I'm just going to put it in my bathtub. Let's go ahead and dunk it and make sure that it is waterproof and it does float like it was stated. Let's go ahead and put some pressure on it. See, the fact that it is fighting against me shows that it is watertight and it is airtight or it's waterproof and airtight. So I'm having to put quite a bit of pressure on it trying to submerge this, which leads to its floatability. Of course, as they mentioned before, it can handle up to 40 pounds in it so anything beyond that will allow it to start to sink. Okay, dry this off a little and let's open up the compartments. I just want to make sure water doesn't get into it when I open it up to make sure it stays dry on the inside. Make sure my hands are dry. I don't want to introduce water into the compartment myself. So it does appear to be dry. I don't see any water droplets in here. Okay. Now let's take a look at the main compartment. Go ahead and open this. I don't see any water around the seams. 
other than where my fingers are going at least since my fingers are still wet yeah so it looks like it did pretty good it said no water leaks and here's an example of what I'm talking about. If you don't close it all the ways and you feel like it is, but you don't do that extra tug, you got a little gap here. All right. If anybody has any questions about this bag, please feel free to ask me. I'll answer any question that I can. Now, with any luck, now that summer's coming close to an end, if we get enough rain and whatnot, I'll be able to take this out to the lake or something and give it a full test out there and see how well it goes at the lake itself. And if I'm able to do that, I'll go ahead and do a follow-up video. And this was the Breakwater Fogland 25 liter water proof backpack in fog white. I hope this review was helpful to some of you. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a great day and y'all stay safe out there.